What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus back with some more XRP and crypto news. And I thank you guys for staying tuned to my video and checking me out. And if you are new to this channel, and I ask that you please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to give you some good content. I'm going to give you the best, and I'm going to give you my all. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you. God bless you. I love you. And here we go. So <laughs> I made this little meme here because it's with all the news circulating, with everything that's going on, it's only a matter of time before XRP moons. And I made this because I want this to be shared. You can come to my my uh, my uh, <laughs> my Twitter page and retweet this at Cashflow Nexus. Uh, so when XRP moons, I told you so. And I just want you to remember this. I told you so. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into the uh, news of today. All right, let's go. So it's nothing new. It's all over the internet. PNC, the eighth largest bank with 400 billion assets, becomes the first U.S. bank to start processing cross-border payments using Ripple's Ripple Net. PNC Treasury Management is offering Ripple Net cross-border real-time payments to commercial clients. XRP. Ooh, let's see. And this uh, article was get, uh, tweeted out by XRP Crypto Wolf. So shout out to him. You're awesome. Uh, so here's the article. I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. So it, it pretty much says what's going on. But the reason that they jumped on board, the ability to receive a payment from an overseas buyer against their invoices, instantly transforming the way they manage their global account receivables and allowing them to better manage their working capital. You know, just that alone, you know, excites banks and, you know, that banks, if that's helping banks out, there's going to help them out in the long run getting more clientele. So that's a good reason for them to jump on board. And this actually might start pushing them up to, you know, uh, probably seventh, eight, uh, seventh to sixth place. <laughs> just because they're the first to get on board with it so that you never know. And so this is the same article. Uh, I'm going to post the articles in the description. This is actually a separate one, but this talks about uh, BlackRock. But let me go into that. Uh, this was this um, tweet was given out by XRP researcher, XRP investor, XRP news. So uh, warning, 100% confirmed facts, PNC banks, Bank starts using RippleNet. PNC owns 22% of BlackRock. BlackRock has 6.5 trillion in assets. BlackRock hires former Ripple executive to lead digital asset team. So I will, you know, post this article if you are interested in reading it in the description. Uh, uh, you know, just for your due diligence of learning what's going on. So. Kevin Cage, big YouTuber, shout out to him. He gives good content on uh, not just YouTube, but on Twitter as well. Um, he said, I've been saying this religiously since Ketel. Uh, I don't know if I said that name right, but Ketel. I'm going to say Ketel. Ketel said these a few months back. Ripple equals remittance equals billions, R3, quota equals trade finance equals trillions. And if you're not familiar with trade finance, trade finance is pretty much uh, people that are involved in with banks. So who's involved with is banks, uh, importers and exporters, and there's more that are involved with that. But trillions, uh, just alone, banks uh, in the foreign exchange uh, market move $5.3 trillion a day uh, around 5.3 trillion dollars a day so that alone is letting you know that the value of xrp is going to have to go up very soon especially when banks start getting involved um just from the volume and liquidity that the banks will have move and uh let's see let's click in here remember rachel lee this is xrp neo uh remember rachel lee said a long time ago for x rapid for remittance Corda seller, seller for big micro payments. Let's see how it plays out with the rumors around uh, R3 slash Ripple merge. So here is the 
you know, little blueprint of it. Let's see. And it lets you know who's in it. Business area separation of Ripple in R3. So it shows all industries that are in it, in the, which is in R3. Got real estate, healthcare, point, uh, supply chain, and then the inner bubble, the financial industry, the real money, <laughs> cross border trade, crowdfunding, repo trading, trade finance, commodity, cryptocurrency, bond, derivatives, uh, syndicate loans, global cash management. So that shows you what's all involved in the R3. So a lot of money is about to be moved in the future, especially if Ripple's in the circle and in the, in the circle of international remittance is Ripple. So specialized in international remittance is, you know, do you see that arrow there? If you, so it's exciting to see that. You, it's only a matter of time, you guys. Just just keep watching. And that, that uh, meme I made told you so is about to be valid it's very soon. Let's see. So here we go. This was an interesting comment. I'm going to start from the top. When I say XRP will be backed by gold, and then some people start talking about counterparty risk, Etc. don't know what the F they are talking about. They don't understand trade and they don't understand the application or use of XRP in a modernized financial system. And this is Tony Valentino. Uh, he says some pretty interesting things. And I, you know, I look at what he says and I take it with a grain of salt. And, you know, it'd be interesting to see if what he says is very true. I believe he's, he's onto something. And then here's uh, what is set, being said. Uh, you know, Charles Lee also backed him in that. And then uh, Mark, you know, replied, who holds the collateral then, you know, pretty much. Who will give uh, U.S. Uh, gold as collateral in exchange for XRP? You know, Charles said, uh, I would think some entity like the IMF could hold the collateral. And then this where Tony replied, this is the what I'm looking at. Yes, the IMF could be tasked with auditing and holding. We are going to a new world order and new world standards. We will no longer be talking about individual nations and central banks. It will be all about the UN, IMF, World Bank, BIS. All these major global players will go top. So, you know, if you let me give you a history lesson real quick on banks, because a lot of people have been saying banks are going to, you know, eventually crash or go out of, you know, style, blah, 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 or be gone altogether. Uh, that's not true. Banks been around since Julius Caesar's reign. That's B.C., folks. <laughs> a long time. Banks have transformed and evolved over time. And over time. Now, to, if we're going to go use now as an example, fiat currency, paperback money, whatever you want to call it, it it's no, it's, it's start, it, since the Bitcoin came on the scene, cryptocurrencies came on the scene, it was an eye-opener for banks to conform with what's going on. Banks don't go anywhere. They just evolve and get better, you guys. So, yes, banks are going to capitalize on that. And the structure, of, I do agree with Tony Valentino on this. Uh, yes, the the nations and central banks, you know, UN, IMF, World Banks, BIS, all of them, they're definitely taking advantage of what's going to go on. And people that are doubting, there's a thing that's said in the Bible, my people are destroyed by a lack of knowledge, whether that be biblical knowledge or wisdom, or whether that be educational information out there. If you don't get up, you know, get uh, up to date with what's going on around you, you will be left behind and you will be destroyed. And it's it's sad to say, but a lot of people are about to be destroyed with what's to come because they're not, you know, following or they're not doing their own due diligence to keep up with uh, what's going on in the world today. You know, you got the trade war going on. That's a sign of the time. You got, um, you know, wars being spoken of. You it's so much things and then people are in their feelings about a lot of things get out of your feelings you know do your own due diligence and 
understand the times that we are in and capitalize on what's coming. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. So King Solomon, the XRPL, he posted this. I'm not sure if anyone posted this. Why would the NASDAQ patent a DLT system that facilitates cryptocurrency transactions? Anyone? Anyone? Since this is all a scam and all, all and isn't going to last, you know, smiley face, satire, XRP community. So those that aren't familiar with what a DLT system is, it's a distri distributed ledger technology distributed ledger technology so what it pretty much does it records uh transactions of assets you know that are uh it, ooh, I'm, I'm tongue tied right now it records transactions of assets for um recorded at the same time of what where the transaction had taken place i'm sorry i got tongue tied for you guys, you guys but hey i need to drink some water my my, my uh mouth is dry right now but here we go it goes into you know detail on what it is you know check out uh king solomon's page it's interesting to uh, interesting read if you if uh, i will say let's see and you know it just tells how it works and shows you details of what the structure is on it so i'm gonna end the video with this this is something that was interesting to me especially with the global collapse of the and the recession a global recession coming very soon and if it's it's like everything was orchestrated just for this moment everything that has happened from the beginning of america or whatever to now it's like everything was just orchestrated perfectly just for this i think it's prophetic because you know it talks about this stuff in the bible and it's interesting how things are playing out now. If you are a biblical person, you you have to see that everything is playing out exactly how it's being said. So Charles Lee said this, some possibilities once the U.S. dollar is no longer a reserve currency. One, multiple reserve currencies. So he said, disadvantage, no anchor can print more. That might cause inflation, so no. Two, SDR, disadvantage, no anchor, can print more. Same thing. Three, gold standard or a variation thereof, XRP. Four, no solution leading to chaos or doomsday. So, you know, XRP is doing a lot. Ripple's doing a lot for the uh, on a global level. And anything that causes global you know, change, you have to, you know, look at it very carefully and you have to look at it with a lot of seriousness because it could impact you almost instantly. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe your thoughts. Like this video. Uh, I linked the two articles in the description below. So check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Take care. Peace.